Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a what's in my purse video. This video has been highly requested and I have done it before, but like two years ago. I haven't done this video since like I started my channel, like OG videos, like back in the dizzle. I haven't done this video in forever. And recently it's just been highly, highly requested. So I thought I would do it for you guys. So this is my purse. Um, this is a Michael Kors, if I knew the name, I would tell you. I don't even think, actually, I don't think Michael Kors have, like, names. Like, Louis Vuitton has names and, like, all those other fancy purses have names. But I freaking love Michael Kors. This isn't an offense to anyone at all. At all. I, like, drop mad money on makeup and people look at me like I'm crazy. But I just don't see myself paying so much for a purse. This, I got it on sale for like $200. It was like three something and I got it on sale, so. So kind of a funny story, not really, but I do have a couple of other Michael Kors purses and I kind of switch them out depending on like my clothing or depending on like the, the mood I'm in, which purse I feel like carrying. And recently, I got this one not too long ago because it was just one pocket, like just one pocket. Just like one big pocket and all my other purses have like compartments in them like the front like the middle zipper the back like you know slots and I don't know if this happens to anybody I know it's gonna sound really weird but I get massive anxiety with compartments like I'm not like I'm not kidding sometimes I'll put like a pen in the back slot when it's supposed to go in the front slot and I have crazy like anxiety the whole day. It ties into my OCD and it's really strange. Um, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna buy a purse that just has one big hole in it so that these slots and compartments don't drive me crazy. Does that make any sense? Please comment down below if that happens to anybody else. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I've been carrying around this purse for a while and I haven't emptied it or fixed it up. So I'm just gonna start pulling things out. This is just real life, guys, real life. So I always keep my wallet with me, of course. This is the wallet that I carry with me no matter what purse I have. I love this wallet, it is my Michael Kors. I'm like a little bit obsessed with Michael Kors. And yes, this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna show my driver's license, but this is what it looks like. I have a picture of Danny when he joined the military right here. Oh, so cute. And I love it because it has a place to put your pen that actually came with that pen and it has a lot of different slots. You can put a lot of cards. Got my VIP pet supermarket, my VIP Rouge. That's a little embarrassing. My Menchie's card. So I don't always keep a book in my purse because let's face it, sometimes books don't really fit in your purse. But I have been reading this book right here. This is my bookmark. This is Don't Sweat the Small Stuff and It's All Small Stuff by Richard Carlson. Simple ways to keep the little things from taking over your life. I'm almost done with this book. I just threw my bookmark in here though, randomly, because my bookmark was just like floating around my purse right now. But anyway, I, I'm almost done with it. It's really good. This is the kind of book you could read in like a few hours, but I limited myself to reading a couple of pages per day because I wanted, I wanted to prolong the read of this. Does that make sense? It's such a good book and it makes me so happy and it really relaxes me and eases my anxiety. And it's just a great advice book that I wanted to read it as long as I could. So I highly recommend this book. It's fantastic. I've got a pen. This is my favorite pen of all time. The Pentel RSVP pens, fine tip, my favorite. Hand sanitizer, of course, stress relief. We all need that stress relief in our life. I should go buy some more because I'm all out of this. Almost. My car keys with my little Miami Heat thingy that I put on it. This is a little Eiffel Tower that a subscriber sent to me. So keep my car keys. These two guys right here, of course, these are my glasses, like to see. <laughs> I can't see very well from far. So especially at nighttime when I am driving or at the movies so that I could see the screen better or when I'm watching TV here at night in my home, you know, Glasses, like do I have to explain it? These are from Burberry and I love them. They are so cute. Do I look like a little teacher, a librarian? I got these at Four Eyes, the outlet. They have like an outlet Four Eyes in Miami and that's where I got these because they were cheaper there. And I have these. 
These are Ray-Bans. Um, I really love my Aviator Ray-Bans, the blue ones that I have, but I wanted something a lot more comfortable for day to day. So these are in the style Erica. Erica. Yes, they're called Erica's and they are the most comfortable sunglasses in the history of the world. They're amazing. So I can't, they're not even on my face. Are they on my face? Because I can't feel them. I have this in my purse. This is Oahu Coconut Sunset from Bath & Body Works. It's my favorite summer splash from Bath & Body Works. Dark Kiss is my favorite overall, but they don't sell it in stores anymore. I gotta get it online. Why am I going off on a tangent here? Oahu Coconut Sunset. Even though I spray perfume before I leave the house, I just keep a little mini body splash because, you know. Oh, what's this? It's a receipt to Ikea. My Ikea receipt. Just recently bought some shelves. They're right there, but you can't see them. Um, little Jambalona thingies. Uh, these are little, what are these called? Dum Dums? Pops. In blueberry and blue raspberry. Blue raspberry is my favorite. I cut out sugar in my life, so I don't know how these got there. I got this at my local next, like on base. Um, and I thought this thing would be perfect for me. I have nothing in it yet, but I think it's perfect for me for when I travel or this is gonna sound really crazy, but I don't like to carry around a huge purse all the time, especially if I'm gonna be walking around places a lot because you know, I'm crazy and paranoid and I, don't, I just don't want people seeing me carry around this big purse. Is that weird? I know, but I think this is perfect because my phone fits in here perfectly right here. My phone just slides in here and then I could just put my ID and a couple of debit cards or whatever and then just close this and just take this everywhere with me because that's all I need. I could put some change back here, you know, so I have my money, my card, my ID and my phone all in this little guy and I don't always have to carry around this big purse. So that is why I purchased this and that's why it's like empty. I keep it in my purse just in case I just want to switch it out and, you know, use this for the day. So, yeah. I have Danny's keys, well, the spare keys. Even though he drives a humongous truck that I could never drive in a million years. So that's really pointless. I have this uh, lipstick from It Cut, this is, I'm, just, I mean, we're not done yet. Uh, random crap in here. This is It Cosmetics um, Vitality, what, what? Vitality Lip Flush in Je Ne Sais Quoi. Ooh, I keep this in here, because this stuff is amazing if you saw my recent Sephora haul. This is the YSL Volupte Tinted Oils. It's a tinted oil. It's like the best thing for your lips ever. Oh, another receipt to Sephora. Of course. I have a Don Donnie's. Who is Donnie? I have Danny's dog tag in my purse. And I put like a little chain on it to like wear it as a necklace because I'm weird like that. A ring. Uh, one of these rings. Two perfume roller balls. This is Versace, Versace Bright Crystal. And this is Elizabeth and James Nirvana, the black one. Can't have too many perfumes, right? I keep a little highlighter marker in here. Um, because I like to highlight my books. Well, like my self-help books. And this is a little monster. You can't tell, but it has a little face on it. And it says monster on it, and it smells like bananas. It's my banana scented highlighter. And it's mini, and it's cute. Some Apple headphone thingies, you know, the ones that come with your phone. Oh my gosh! And an earring. And these were really expensive, and I don't know where my other one is. And then I keep my makeup bag. This is the Charlotte Tilbury makeup bag. Give a woman the right makeup. She can conquer the world. And really quickly, I'm just gonna go through what I have in here because I don't have much. Like, I don't have like a full face of makeup in here. But I keep my favorite Revlon lip butter in Cupcake, which I haven't been able to find at the drugstore anymore and it's starting to worry me. This cool Mr. Uh, like a uh, brush, I keep it in my purse because obviously it's not gonna get effed up because it's in this thing. I actually got this in a BoxyCharm. Keep that in there because I keep a baked bronzer from e.l.f. in my purse, just in case I'm looking a little like a ghostly one day. I don't know. This cool Sephora, well, I, mean, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's cool, but it's a mirror that I got at Sephora. A Soft Lips Lip Balm, really cute, in vanilla, I believe. It doesn't say. 
but I think it's vanilla. Blistex medicated lip balm, <laughs> SPF 15. This little light, just in case, I don't know. I also have another lip balm, Bioderma Silk Stick Hydration. I like this Bioderma lip balm, so I have it. And then the four last things in this makeup bag are a mascara. This is just a regular Makeup Forever like travel mascara. This is an Ico Liquid Black Eyeliner, just in case. And then a brown eyeliner from M Cosmetics in Bronze Kiss, just in case. And a Paris or an Eiffel Tower uh, bottle opener. Because, you know, I don't know why, actually. It was a gift from my cousin, and I keep it in my purse because it's really cute. And sometimes I like sparkling water, and you need to pop it open at a restaurant with one of these. Actually, that's not true because they open it for you at the restaurant. So I, I don't know why I have this. I used to carry around a big box in my purse. It was like a heart-shaped box that Danny got me when he went to Africa. And Danny was like, stop carrying that in your purse. It was like a big box made out of wood. So I stopped carrying it. Okay, so that is everything that is in my purse, but I do have like little sections here on the side. And in this zipper right here, right here, I keep a leave, cause you never know. Um, I actually keep some of my anxiety medicine. This beautiful little picture booth thing of me and Danny. Keep it in my purse. And some chewable Dramamine because I use Dramamine whenever I get on an airplane or on a boat or on a roller coaster, so I keep it. And then here on the side pockets, I have the stuff, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I have my uh, Cosmoprof Pro Club card and four quarters. So mama's got a dollar. Okay guys, so that was everything I keep in my brown uh, Michael Kors bag. I love it because it's one of those bags that you can hold like this. Like I usually like to hold it. Or whenever sometimes I'm like too lazy and this bag gets too heavy. I can hold it like this. It's a win-win. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it wasn't boring. I feel like it was, but I hope it wasn't. Um, I love you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.